Oh no. <laughs> I better run because I don't want to be beat down. Well, Fist of Engine. Hey everybody, it's Six and I'm back again with another playthrough of a game that I used to play back in the day. It's called Beat Down Fist of Vengeance. This game came out with produced by Capcom in 2005, so I haven't played this game since 2005. So that's almost 20 years I haven't played this game. But when I originally played this game, I had a lot of fun playing it. So I wanted to do another playthrough of this, enjoy playing it, and show everybody this, this game. I know a lot of people probably missed it, leader. but I've seen some reviews back then and now and it hasn't really been all that favorable it's probably been slightly slightly less than the average score I think it was like a 4.6 out of 10 on metacritic or something like that don't quote me on that but it wasn't a favorable review but i'm here to tell you that i enjoyed this game. i thought it was pretty cool so i'm doing a playthrough of it come along on the ride with me because I thoroughly enjoyed this bad boy right here. Beat down Lost Sombras. Vengeance. For decades, this city was a war zone. How polite of you to use the hotline to contact me. I'm already quite aware of the cartel's activities. Don't you lose any sleep over this. The gears are already turning. I've got some of my best soldiers on the case. It's all going according to plan. So that was a pretty cool introduction. Here are the characters. You got Raven, Jason, G, A.A. Ron, <laughs> Lola, and Gina. Gina was my favorite. I remember playing through with her when I first got this game back in the day. I played through with all the other characters. But the cool thing about the cool thing that I'm also starting to recognize you sure this the me right place, being an older gamer well, and actually coming back to some of these games is that a lot of them I just don't remember me? like that anymore. So I'm just going, going through them again. It's pretty fresh for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting the gangster talk. So let's get back to the story. Us. They're looking to take control of the city from my family. We can't allow that. This city belongs to us, and we gotta keep it that way. We all know who your father is, Aaron. You don't need to go bragging. Time to open the gates of hell. What the fuck happened here? These are all cartel members. I know that, dumbass. I just want to know how the hell this happened. Maybe they heard you were coming and couldn't bear to look at your ugly face. What the hell you say to me? Knock that shit off. You forget why we even came here. What about the drugs? Well, I sure don't see anything laying around. Must be gone already. Gone? Who the hell took the shite? Whoever killed these poor bastards, apparently. Look around, man. Even a stupid ass like you can see what happened. You piece of crap. Shut the hell up, both of you! Guys, we're surrounded. What the hell are you talking about? Our family? Why are they here? Eugene? What are you doing here? It was all a setup. We fell right into a trap! Terribly sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm afraid you're right. Kill them! We'll be a big target if we stick together. Split up!
You're going down. This game was actually a pretty straightforward beat em up with what had different features to it that I actually enjoyed. Like you got like like what is explaining with the group battles, you'll have like a group of people just beating each other up. So you'll you might have a couple of teammates with you to help you out and then you'll be fighting like large groups of people. You can use weapons as far as I can remember. You, you had all different types of items that you can pick up health items and and weapons and I remember being able to pick items up and put them away in your pocket which was pretty cool like if you had a health item you can actually store it you didn't have to use it immediately I remember some stuff about this game I just don't really remember too many beats according to the story or what was going on some of the characters if I see them again I might recognize them but yeah, it's all pretty cloudy, but I just, I do really remember enjoying this back then. Yeah, I am getting used to the controls again because it's on those old school PS2 type analog for the one, one analog control, the walking, the other one controls the camera but it's kind of jank and it's kind of weird but it's not to me it's not like i mentioned it's not a deal breaker it's just basically something to get used to it's like you gotta kind of slide back in to that format in order to like actually enjoy it and that's one thing i've noticed too that i would i would actually share with you guys this game as an older gamer i've been playing this since way back when the atari first came out so I, i'm not as much as a player who plays these games and like nitpick every little single thing like i'm more appreciative of seeing how games have progressed and being able to go back and look at older games and not be completely disgusted by them <laughs> just because of you know quality of life changes and stuff like that I don't, I don't care too much about that i've always been the type where if i play it and i enjoy it and i like it then i mean what's the issue and if it's really that much fun that i enjoy it why not showcase it for everybody to see because i know a lot of people probably didn't play this game before they probably never even heard of this game before i mean it came out like almost 20 years ago that's an entire generation that may have missed this game unless you got like some collectors and people who actually go back and look for these type games so i no mean way you're getting that's away. what i'm here for Shit. to help you find something wow she oh goodness gracious Too smart for that eh i remember him i remember that guy so okay let's see what's going on no matter i'll finish this myself Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. <laughs> Not to trash this dude. Look at their fighting stances. It's crazy. And oh yeah, it does. It switches to like a one v one type, like a a normal fighting game. I like. I like how they had some concepts here, and I, I enjoyed it. I like how everything kind of blended together. They had a lot going for this game, but for some reason, a lot of people didn't like it. So I don't know. I enjoyed it. And it's here for you guys to see. I mean, I'm, I'm, there are some things that I do actually remember. The game can be kind of a grind to try to upgrade and all that type of stuff. But that's any game, really. If you're willing to go through the slog of doing that in order to progress. And that's pretty much like any game that you would play. Then what makes this game any different? Look, look, I'm, I'm having a blast playing this. Yeah, if they had something on them, they would have shot me in the back while I was running away. What the hell is Eugene doing there? Why was he trying to kill me? Doesn't he trust me anymore? 
Or was he just testing me? Why? What for? Did he betray me? No, I can't believe that. There must be something going on. But what? Why is this happening? You're late. Don't you know how dangerous it is for me to be standing out here alone? Sorry, I... You know, it can be hard to disappear all the time without people talking. You weren't followed, were you? I did everything just the way you taught me. If somebody did follow me, it'd be your fault. Well, how goes the plan? Everything's set. The deal goes down tomorrow night. It all happens right here at the Harbor Warehouse. Five of us, including me, are going in. They shouldn't give us any trouble. Well, do I seem useful now? Very. You've really outdone yourself this time. You just continue to keep a low profile. It's all for you, Eugene. Everything I do. No. It's for us, baby. For us. Eugene, after this job's over... I know. Was everything up until now a lie? <laughs> Was I being used? I... I can't believe that. Did he just dump me? No, he wouldn't do that. But then, why'd I get jumped? Why are people trying to kill me? Does this mean he's done with me? That I'm not useful anymore? I don't know. This is all so crazy. Eugene. And here we are, welcome everybody to chapter 1, where we learn the basics of the game, and basically try to get a grasp of what's going on and head into our first mission. What? We just randomly walk and talk to people at the gas station. I remember when I first played this way back in the day, I remember just fighting everybody that I saw, and just try to destroy everything. But I don't think I'm gonna do that in this game. I'm gonna try to get to the more <laughs> the main points and try to yeah. figure things out so that the story progresses. But we'll see how everything goes. Yeah, I do remember these people just randomly talking to people. And the streets is like dark and gritty. What is this like? <laughs> this is either my city or it's downtown Detroit. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Take your pick. Okay, I see this place. Uh, I can go back to that. That's my cool clothing store. You're going okay. down. Okay. Oh man. Look at how many people there are already. Jeez. Look at look at that. They got so many enemies on the screen at one time. That's awesome. Goodness gracious, you just got <laughs> oh, right. This game was a oh, man. I don't enjoy this. Fights, they get wild when you have like team members help you out and just giant sized gangs and stuff and just big street fights and all that stuff and then the police they'll try to get you and all that yeah, this game is pretty cool this, this is a neat game right here I, and I recommend everybody to play especially if you like beat em up type games you want a little bit more substance to your beat em up try this game because it's pretty cool I hate how she runs though it's like she well, then again, she does have on high heels in the seat. It kind of makes sense, but it's just annoying. Okay, here's the bar that we're supposed to be getting to, so we'll see what's going on in this spot. Okay, so I see 
Look at how gigantic the inside of this bar is. That's not a bar, that's more like Welcome. a dance hall type place. But <laughs> anyway, I digress. Look at, look at this place, it's just huge. Anyway, let's figure out what's going on. Hello. I kind of forgot to, yeah, the game can have a lot of text dialogue because you know it's a PS2 game, so there's, there's text dialogue and there's also cutscenes when they talk. So it's, it takes a little getting used to going back to that, but shh, to be honest, I mean, it's not taking away from the game. I don't mind reading, so as long as I know what I'm doing, I have no issue with it. But yeah, I know Melvin is going to be pretty important. So, here's Melvin. I see the, looks like the bodyguard, but let's change our clothes real quick and see. Maybe I can get into the default character outfit and see what I can find. Yeah, look at her, okay. Go Gina. <laughs> Go back so I can figure out what's going on. I think it lowered my, oh yeah, it did, it lowered my noticeability level for the police and the gangs six percent i'll take that over 100 percent any day yeah this lady let's see ah reporter automatic i already know that's a safe spot besides the fact that it says save <laughs> but i would have figured if i would have talked to her i would have knew it would have been a safe one which is pretty creative you know she writes down your travel so that's pretty cool Yeah? People, they just yeah. flapping their gums. Aren't they supposed to be living in like a seedy city? I don't think you should be too much talking. Like, yeah. you know everything. Goodness gracious. What? Okay, cool. <laughs> so he directs me to the Okay, let me tell you everything. Either way, you know about the game. Going, so I can actually well, at least he's giving me some important uh, information. And stuff. That's pretty so cool. So I can see some of the map. Okay. You see, it has your equip L2 and R2. You can just hold two items. I think each character starts with something different too. And you can just use that in your travel. Hey, look at they got all the moves. Got combos and all that stuff. I was doing I was doing juggling attacks and stuff. This is this has got some stuff to it. That's why I was saying like I, any anybody who's like in, who plays beat 'em up, you you I think you would like this game. Just give it a try. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think Melvin does teach you new abilities. You see, you got all these different stats that you can upgrade. There's there's a there's a, a good amount of stuff going on here. A bunch of different clothes you can buy. A bunch of different items you need throughout the game what? world. Yeah, you can also see right there the XP and all that stuff. So it's 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 pretty involved. Then you got your mission list. It's yeah, this is this game is actually pretty what? involved. You go around the world and you can like recruit people to help you out. It's a good amount to it. What? Hello. Thank you. 
Hello. Yeah, I remember Tracy. She gives you all different type of information and different missions and stuff that you can go to. That's pretty cool. Like I said, it's pretty involved. You got, it, it gives you a good amount of stuff to do. I, I can't remember if you actually run into the your old gang mates. I can't remember, honestly. I think you do, though. I don't know if it's all of them. I can, honestly, I can't remember, so... I'll see what happens as we play along through the game. See if we can run into any of our old teammates like A.A. Ron. I'll do one last save. Always got to make sure you save. Oh, and look, see, so you also got your criminal level. So it shows you what, like, what characters you can recruit and all that stuff. It's a lot involved to it. I'm, I'm glad there's a good amount to it, too, because it's just not a shallow, just run around and beat people. I mean, well, yeah, there, it is pretty much run around and beat people, but at least there's some sort of a story involved and, and there's a lot of mechanics to the game to keep you interested so yeah Okay, I'm gonna try to head to the police station now, which isn't far. It's just gotta go up the street around the corner and it'll go to the next zone. I'll try my best to see if I can avoid anybody. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that with this outfit on, but <laughs> we're gonna try to see what what we can actually accomplish. Look, you, you, goodness gracious, you got people trying to fight you on the, in the middle of the block. Anyway, goodness, we, we made it. Okay, cool. Also, for these playthroughs, I don't want to, you know, put the whole grind part in there, too. So I'll make sure that I at least skip that and put it in the appropriate spot. Oh, looks like something's going. Why don't I walk straight up to the police? That's station? as far as you go. Captain Chester, we've surrounded and cut off the suspect as you ordered. Good job, officer. You've got balls, I'll tell you that. You planned on busting up the cartel's deal and taking the goods yourself, huh? Never thought you'd go to all that trouble and then surrender so easily. Wish you punks would just fight amongst yourselves instead of involving me. Stay ah! worthless piece of shit! Take this scum in and throw away the key!
Oh, great. Now I'm in jail. How? Oh, goodness gracious, you must got hands of stone. She can just swing at a gate like that. Goodness gracious, woman. That's probably how I gotta get out, though. Get somebody's attention and, and then make him come out. Hey, what's all That's this what noise? Knock it off! I'm the warden around here and I don't stand for that kind of shit. I don't get no respect. I got people fucking with me from all sides. That damn Captain Chester's no different. No one knows how important I really am. It's all your fault, you and your jailbreaks. That's why I get no respect. I am a victim of circumstance, and it's your fault. You can't get away. I'm gonna make you feel pain like you never even imagined. All right, my man. Since I gotta sit through your whole monologue, you know I got to trash you. Look at, look at. Look at, she got moving and everything. Come on, man. That dude is like gigantic, though. Goodness gracious, that was vicious. I'll make sure you that get was so special vicious. treatment. I lost, but no, you gotta give me another try. Come on now. This ain't over just like that. Yeah, run it back, 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 run it back. Alright, Gina, let's show him. Get a little bit of focus here and show him how to do this. That's crazy. She's got a good amount of moves. She makes these fighting matches like pretty fun. So I got him that time. You even try him? That's cool. They let me upgrade my character. Not many points, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so I just gotta figure out how to get out of here. Now. Where did he come in from? Oh, he must. Oh wait, if I have the, do he have any keys or something? Or... Oh, okay. Looks like uh, bust out. Guess he's the same as his jailbreak. But if that was the case, then he kept saying that we don't get no respect because of the jailbreak. Was he talking about me specifically, or was he just talking about people just breaking out in this one spot to just keep telling the fix? Because I got out <laughs> very quick. Oh man, they got the officers. I hope they don't have no weapons on them. Goddamn punk! Uh, oh man, I don't want to have to fight no two on one against two officers and they might have tasers. Cool, they let you actually run and escape fights. That's pretty cool. That comes in handy. Just in case you can't actually win a fight, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm high telling it out here. She loses later. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so that was the end of the level. Okay, cool. The chapter is now cleared. Cool, I'm having a blast with playing this, but. Okay, everybody, I gotta stop this here. Thanks for watching. Alright, chapter two is coming soon.